Coaching college hoops can be a very difficult task, rebuilding teams year after year as students graduate or depart for the NBA or various other leagues. So you'd think that coaches would have to have some sort of playing experience at the NBA level or even the college level, but that isn't the case. Here's a list of very successful coaches at the college level that don't have any playing experience past high school. First up we have Marvin Menzies, he's the current head coach at UNLV. He started his head coaching career in 2007 at New Mexico State and is currently 55 years old. This dude never played a day in high school or college. In his short time as head coach, he's amassed a pretty significant record, 201 wins versus 112 losses, and in the last four years, he's gone 96 and 43, winning approximately 70% of his games. He's also had some tournament appearances as head coach, one NIT tournament appearance, one NCAA first round appearance, and four NCAA second round appearances. Next up, we've got Steve Hawkins, current head coach at Western Michigan. He got his head coaching career started in 1991 with Division II Quincy University. He's 54 years old and never played basketball past the 10th grade. He started coaching at the age of 19 by working at the legendary John Wooden's basketball camps. Now he's got a pretty decent record going with 237 wins and 188 losses and in the last four seasons going 78 and 56, winning about 58% of his games. He's seen plenty of various tournaments with two NCAA first round appearances, one NIT and one CBI appearance along with two CIT appearances. Now we've got Scott Drew, he's the head coach at Baylor. He got his head coaching career started in 2002 with Valparaiso, and he's currently 46 years old. This guy never played beyond the JV level in high school. Now despite his inexperience playing the game at a high level, he's won 286 games and 183 losses as a head coach, and in the last four seasons going 95 and 48, winning about 66% of his games. Coach Drew has been fairly successful at the tournament level, making six NCAA appearances, including one Sweet 16 and two Elite Eight appearances. He also has three NIT appearances with one NIT championship. Next up, we've got Bruce Weber, the current head coach at Kansas State University. He got his head coaching start in 1998 for the University of Southern Illinois, and he played all four years in high school, but he never continued on to play in college. He's racked up an all-time record of 404 wins and 210 losses, going 79-54 and 54 in the last four seasons, winning about 60% of his games. Weber has had some great tournament appearances, which includes one runner-up appearance in 2005, two Sweet 16 appearances, and seven other NCAA tournament appearances, along with two NIT appearances. Weber was also the coach for Darren Williams, as well as Myers Leonard, while they played for Illinois. Next up we have Bob Marlin. He's the current head coach for the University of Louisiana, Ragin' Cajuns. He got his head coaching career started in 1998 with Sam Houston State at the Division I level. He is currently 57 years old. He played point guard for a high school team that went to the state tournament, and he turned down offers by junior colleges ending his playing career. His all-time win ratio is 342 wins with 223 losses, and in the last four seasons he's gone 77 and 61, winning about 55% of his games. He has three NCAA tournament appearances, including one second round appearance, along with three CIT appearances. Marvin coached the current starting point guard for the Orlando Magic, Alfred Payton, drafted in 2014. Next up we've got longtime coach Cliff Ellis. He's the current head coach for Coastal Carolina. He got his head coaching career started in 1975 for the University of South Alabama. He is currently 71 years old and did not play beyond high school due to an ankle injury that he suffered just before his junior college season started. Now he has coached a ton of games, amassing a record of 791 wins and 
459 losses in the last four seasons going 80 and 50, winning about 61% of his games. Now he's been in 10 NCAA tournament appearances dating as far back as 1979, including three Sweet 16 appearances, along with 11 NIT appearances and two CIT appearances. Now Ellis has coached a lot of talent on his teams in the past. He's coached Dale Davis, Eldon Campbell, as well as Horace Grant, along with Marquise Daniels and Tony Douglas. Next up, we've got Mick Cronin. He is the current head coach for Cincinnati. He got his head coaching career started in 2003 for Murray State. He is currently 45 years old and he played point guard in high school, but knee injuries prevented him from playing at the collegiate level. Cronin's all-time record is 282 wins with 151 losses, going 94 and 41 in the last four seasons, winning about 70% of his games. He has made eight NCAA tournament appearances, including two Sweet 16 appearances, along with one NIT and one CBI appearance. Cronin was also the coach for Lance Stevenson. And rounding out the list, we have Mark Few, the current head coach of Gonzaga University. He got his head coaching career started in 1999 with Gonzaga. In fact, he started with Gonzaga as a graduate assistant in 1989. He is currently 54 years old and he played point guard for his high school team, leading them to the state semifinals and shoulder injuries prevented him from pursuing a collegiate career. He's racked up a ridiculous win ratio winning 480 games with 111 losses and in the last four seasons going 124 and 21 winning about 86% of his games. You have more experience in NCAA tournaments than Mark. In fact, while he's been the head coach of Gonzaga, he's never missed an NCAA tournament. He's had 17 NCAA tournament appearances, including five Sweet 16 appearances and one Elite Eight appearance. And finally, Mark Few has coached many players such as Ronnie Turiaf, Kelly Olinick, and Domas Sabonis. Thanks for stopping and watching my videos. Be sure to check out my other videos, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Take care, see you later.